So this problem about telephone poles, is, it's kind of a common problem we see in math books a lot of times. So we'll walk you through it here. Um, it says a telephone pole, so I'm going to draw a pole. There we go. <laughs> Casts a shadow that's 50 feet long. So on the ground, there's this shadow of the pole. This is my shadow here. And we know that that's 50 feet long. Now, somewhere, there's the sun that, well, or a cloud, <laughs> there's the sun, and it has sunshine, you know, coming off it, and that's what makes the shadow, okay? Now, I'll come back to why the sun's important in a minute. Okay, nearby, so close to this spot, we have an eight-foot-tall traffic sign. So here's the traffic sign, and we know it's eight feet tall, and it casts a shadow, here, I'll make it a stop sign if I can draw a, well, or not a stop sign, a school, school crossing sign or something. Anyway, pretend like this is the shadow here. And uh, we know the eight foot tall sign casts a shadow that's 10 feet long. Now everything's in terms of feet. So um, what we're comparing is we're comparing the big triangle, so the big, to the little triangle. I'm going to set it up that way. Now, the thing to know about the sun is the sun that's casting that shadow for the telephone pole is also casting, it's the same sun, casting the shadow for the stop sign. And so we know that these are similar triangles because that angle isn't changing of the sun. The sun's the same angle. You have this is the same angle. And so they have to be, those are both right angles. Um, they have to be similar triangles because of that. So it's a lot easier to measure the shadow on the ground than it is to climb up that telephone pole uh, with a tape measure and figure out how tall that telephone pole is. So we're trying to figure out X right here. We're trying to figure out how tall that telephone pole is. And we're going to use similar triangles to do that. Okay, so I'm going to compare big to little because that's what I said I would do. All right, so in the big triangle, I have 50. So this distance right here, the distance of the shadow, compared to the distance of the shadow in the other one. So 50 is to 10, and that has to equal. And now we're going to compare the height in the big one. So x is to the height of that sign, which was 8 feet. Okay. So if you're having trouble with these, they'll get easier, but um, they're really useful for portions. Okay, now we can cross multiply. So 8 times 50 is equal to 10 times x. And you could divide both sides by 10, but if you wanted to multiply out, this one's not so bad. 400 equals 10x. Divide both sides by 10. And you're going to get, <laughs> out of room, 40 equals x. So the telephone pole, telephone pole is 40 feet tall. Or you could probably just put 40 feet. Okay, so 